All right, folks, here is part two of how to draw the Android logo using Flash's basic primitive tools. Um, let's get right into it. We just drew the body. Uh, if you didn't see part one, take a look at it now. But uh, here we go. Let's draw this head. Well, his head looks pretty much like a perfect semicircle. So let's zoom in a little bit on him. And I'm going to put a guide right at the top of his head. I'll take this bottom guide here and just put it right there. So I've just boxed out his head. I'm going to use the oval primitive tool. I'm going to select it. And I'm just going to start drawing an oval in the top left hand corner of that grid there. And as I pull down, notice how I can get a perfect outline around his little dome there. So let me release the mouse. And now I have a full circle. Well, by adjusting this start angle, I can get pretty much a perfect half semicircle. So I'll just bring that over to 180, and there I have his head. Okay, let's deal with those antennae now. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Let's select this arm, and notice how the antennae almost looks like a thin arm, basically. It's just a long rectangle with a rounded top. So I'm going to do an option drag of this arm, so I have a copy of it. And let's just mess around with the width. So I'm going to squeeze that in. And I'm just going to try to eye out the width of that antennae. And somewhere around 6 or maybe uh, 7 pixels is going to work for me just fine. Okay. And now I want this antennae to be rotated and matched up with this one here. Well, I can move it over. Um, I can go to the transform tool. And I can rotate it a little bit and try to match that angle up. Let's just move it over here, and I'd zoom in a little bit for this. And we want those angles to be as close as possible. So let's just go back to transform. Rotate it a few more degrees. We want them to be parallel. All right, and that looks pretty darn good. Now the problem here is that this drawing, this rectangle primitive that I created, is way too long. So I need to cut it out a little bit. I need to cut off that bottom. The only way I can really shrink this effectively is if I break it apart and then slice off the bottom, okay? Because if I do any sort of resizing, it just doesn't work right. So let's bring it up here, modify, break apart. It's gonna turn this drawing of this rectangle primitive into just a regular old shape. And I'm just gonna slice off the unneeded part and we're just going to place it right over the existing bitmap. And using my arrow keys, look at that. That's like perfect, okay. Let's now make a copy of that shape. We're gonna option drag that antennae over here. And let's just do a modify, transform, flip horizontal. And I'll just drag it down and place it right there. So here we have the antennae overlapping his little dome. We're gonna do the union of those shapes just like we did with the legs and the body. So I'm gonna click, shift click, and click again. I have all three items selected. I'm going to go to Modify, Combine Objects, and we'll choose Union. And so now the head and the antennae are one object. Command Z, we're good. And now I just need to literally punch out his eyes. So let's take a different color, maybe a bright blue. I'm going to zoom in a little bit on his eye. And let's just, whoops, looks like we moved it. Let's just put in some really quick guides around the pixels of his eye. And I'm going to go back to my oval primitive tool. And let's just click on it. And if I hold down shift, I can get my perfect circle. It looks like it remembered the last semicircle that I drew for the head. So let's uh, fill that in. And that looks pretty darn good. So let's, uh, I'm going to copy that shape. All right. And then I'm going to select the head, click and then shift click on the eye. I'm gonna to go to modify, combine objects, and punch. And that literally punches a hole in the eye. Now remember, I had copied that shape, so let's paste it again. I can reuse it, and let's cut out this eye. I'm gonna select the eye, select the head, and we're gonna to go to modify, combine objects, and then do punch. And that literally punches the eye out of the head. And now if we zoom out, we have a really nice, clean vector droid. Let's uh, go back to my timeline. Let's hide that bitmap layer. 
In fact, I want to guide it out. All right, and let's get rid of our guides altogether. Um, let's go to View, uh, Guides, Not Show Guides. And here we have all the vector shapes for my logo. If I zoom in, notice now when I zoom in, all the colors are consistent, the angles are razor sharp, those curves are absolutely beautiful. I can then take all of these shapes, and what I'm going to do is just fill them all with 100%, let's do black, okay? So there's my Android logo, and I'm going to select all those shapes, and we're going to go to Modify, Convert to Symbol, let's make it a movie clip, and we're going to call it Android, and we'll say Logo, all right? Hit OK, and there we are. I can now take this logo, I can make copies of it, I can resize it, hold down shift, make them small, and maybe put it, give them a little buddy in the background here. A little option drag. And now we have multiple copies of that same symbol. This one here, you know, let's go to uh, tint him a little bit. Let's open up my library. Let's select the bitmap. And I can tint him the actual color of the real logo. This one, I can say, hey, you know what? Let's tint you a different color. We'll make you blue. I love the way that doesn't always work. And this one here, we're going to say, you know what? Let's tint you a little bit red. Dun, dun, dun. Have to do that twice. Great feature flash. And there we are. If I do a command return, we'll get my Swift. And there we have all of our logos. And it looks like I really didn't guide out that bottom layer. So let's do that. I only hit it. All right. There we go. So now we have really clean Android logos, didn't use the pen tool or anything horrible, just drew a few rectangles and circles. And we learned how to merge them together using Union, and we also did a little bit of a punch. Zoom in as much as we want, and these logos are going to be razor, razor sharp. All right, that's it, guys. It's a wrap. See you for the next round. How do I turn this thing off?